In such a small-scale, high-level program, unfortunately, we have to make a selection. Applicants must have a certain entrance level and they must be motivated to be admitted. The video discusses the admission criteria. First, we require a university bachelor diploma in one of the social and behavioral sciences. If you're in doubt about the level or the content of your bachelor diploma, then please contact us. Second, we require sufficient knowledge in methodology and statistics. The methodology and statistics courses are quite advanced. A requirement is that you can show that you have passed courses on the following topics. An introduction course in statistics, including descriptive statistics and hypothesis testing, introduction in research methodology, multiple regression, analysis of variance, and factor analysis. If your level of met research methodology and statistics is just not sufficient, or if you have a statistical background but mi missed the topics listed here, then we can require that you, have, that you pass a test in methodology and statistics. An optional summer course is available to prepare you for this test. If you want to know the entrance level of the summer course, or the entrance level of the test in methodology and statistics, then please contact us. Third, for the Dutch diplomas, we require that the average grade in the last two bachelor years is at least 7.5. For non-Dutch diplomas, the grade point average is computed by NUFIC and equated to the Dutch level. It frequently happens that applicants do not know their average grade yet, because, for example, they have not yet finished their bachelor's thesis. These applicants should apply anyway, as they get a conditional admission. But what if you are slightly below the 7.5 average, but you have additional proof that you can do the research master program? For example, because you have completed a master's program with high grades, or you have been working as a researcher. In this case, we advise to apply and explain the circumstances. The admission committee will then decide. Fourth, since the entire program is in English, and the program is characterized by a high level of student participation, all applicants must show that their level of English is up to date. Unless you are a native speaker, you need a certificate from TOEFL or IELTS showing that your level of English is adequate. For precise information, please consult the website. As an extra service to applicants for the Research Master, we provide an institutional TOEFL test, free of charge. The results are only valid for admission to the Research Master program, so you get no certificate of the results. The exact date will be published on the website. Fifth, we require a strong motivation. This is expressed by sending us a motivation letter, two reference letters and a paper you have written yourself, such as your bachelor's thesis. Note that the application deadline is April 1st for nationals from outside the European economic area and for applicants who wish to apply for a scholarship. The deadline for uh, nationals from the European economic area is July 1st, given that they do not wish to apply for a scholarship. The final decision about your admission will be made by the admission committee. For the exact information, please consult the website. If you have still have any questions or if you're not sure whether you meet all the criteria, please do not hesitate to contact us.